Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. Today I wanted to cover a recent update to Google Docs that is going to make your experience putting together documents uh, a little bit faster and hopefully more intuitive as well. So this new update has to do with automated lists inside of Google Docs. So what Google is basically doing is determining when you're trying to make a list, whether it be numbers or letters or bullets, and then helping to automate that process for you. So for an example, if I started off a line with a number and a period, you can see right away that the number is actually tabbed in like it would be in a list. So if I start putting together a list here, let's say of Google Apps features, so I'll say Gmail, then right away it just goes ahead and starts making a list for me. So this saves me time because rather than having to put together a, uh, use a keyboard shortcut or go into the toolbar, I can just do a list how I normally would do it without using any other features and Google helps me start that list right away. And there's also a number of different variations for this as well. So you're not just limited to that number and then period. So let's say I did the same thing but with the parentheses, Google will start the list again for me right there. I can also do the same thing with uh, bullets and hyphens. So I can use an asterisk to start using a making a bulleted list and Google will also indent a hyphen for me as well. And like you saw there, this can be removed right away just by clicking the backspace. And if this is not a feature that you're really interested in having, it is defaulted on, so you'll have to remove it to stop having the access to this feature. So you'll go into tools and then preferences and then you can just disable these this option here that says automatically detect lists. So I'm not going to go over all the different permutations that you have for this automated list feature so feel free to play around with them yourself and see exactly what you have access to and if you have any questions about this recent update feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.